What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here with your $1,400 third stimulus check update, fourth stimulus check update, and daily news report. We're going to go over several different things of the upcoming round of stimulus, student loan forgiveness, the recurring stimulus checks that are being pushed for in the fourth stimulus check package, as well as unemployment, uh, tax breaks and bonuses and amendments and uh, several different things to cover in this video. Let's start right now. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on new updates. Regarding the fourth round of stimulus coming out, the fourth stimulus check, as well as all the other things on the horizon as there is over a dozen different things uh, that we cover here on this channel. We're going to cover several of them here today. Don't forget to hit the like button and here we go. First up, the White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki gives us an update on the president's stance of $10,000 to $50,000 of student loan debt forgiveness and the process of what is going on currently with that. Also, we'll then talk about how the possibility of student loan debt forgiveness could possibly lead to other types of debt forgiveness in the future. That's not student loan. 50,000, like some liberals and, and Democrats um, have asked for, is Biden rethinking his position and is he reconsidering his position on the idea of canceling uh, debt of students who attended more expensive private schools? Well, first, um, he continues to look look forward to, he'd welcome a bill signed by, or passed by Congress, I should say, to cancel $10,000 in student debt. Uh, and he'd be happily signed that. I, I think that would naturally be the first step before it's a larger amount beyond there. Uh, what Ron Klain was referring to is the fact that there's an ongoing review. It's both a policy review and a legal review. So Department of Education and Department of Justice to look at what the options are and what authority could be recommended to the president. So that was the process he was referring to. If he's asking what options are available, does that mean whether he could do it to $50,000? And does that mean that it's therefore open as a possibility for the White House? Yeah, it's his, his position hasn't changed. There, there's a review to take a look at uh, at um, what is possible with executive authority. But he has indicated he doesn't think that's a good proposal. During the town hall back in February, he very much you know, was outspoken against the $50,000 threshold. So where does he stand on that at this point? And again, after that point in time, Ron Klain and others have spoken with a range of leaders in Congress, and we've said many times from this podium that there is an ongoing review of what the options are that are possible under executive authority. There's also a policy review, as would be expected at the same time. Uh, we haven't ruled out options, but that review is ongoing and there isn't a conclusion of it. So just to be clear here, President Biden has already canceled uh, three different rounds of student loan debt forgiveness and or help. Number one, as you can see here on the screen, the first round, the first mini round here, President Biden canceled $1 billion of student loan debt for defrauded borrowers or also people that have had their schools close on them. This is uh, equal to about $1 billion in student loan debt forgiveness. In the second round, President Biden canceled an additional $1.3 billion of student loans, again, for certain people. As you can see here, if you've been following the latest on student loan cancellation, President Biden canceled student loans for the second time this month. First, Biden canceled $1 billion of student loans for 72,000 borrowers. Today, he cancels another $1.3 billion of student loans for 41,000 borrowers with a total and permanent disability, collectively over $2.3 billion for 110,000 student loan borrowers have been uh, canceled. And the third round, Biden also won't make an additional 190,000 student loan borrowers with disabilities show documentations proving their earnings, and he added student loan relief for 1 million more borrowers. This was actually for an additional 1.1 million borrowers. Biden will now help student loan borrowers with FFELP loans who have defaulted on their student loans. These borrowers will be granted similar student loan relief from, from the CARES Act, the $2.2 trillion stimulus package passed underneath President Trump that provides several protections for federal student loan borrowers uh, through September 2021, including no federal student loan payments, 
no interest on federal student loan payments, and no garnishment of wages, Social Security, and tax refunds for student loan debt collections for those in default. President Biden is being pushed to, to do more than $10,000 of student loan de debt forgiveness. This would be in a fourth and upcoming round of student loan debt forgiveness or student loan cancellation. President Biden said he is willing to do $10,000, but he hasn't done it yet for the masses. Only these first three mini rounds, we'll call them. Uh, we do expect to see more. And the latest update, what White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki says, is they are looking into whether or not the president can do, do it through presidential executive order. Chuck Schumer, the Senate Majority Leader, says he can do it through executive order. And almost everything I've read from experts say that they think that the president can do this through executive order. So uh, it's really just a matter of time and if and when. The real other question is after they do this or when they do this, will it open up other types of debt forgiveness? For example, mortgage debt forgiveness. What if they did $10,000 of uh, mortgage relief? Basically knocked $10,000 off your mortgage. Remember, the federal government owns the majority of loans through Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. So they could do something like that, again, with a simple executive order by simply signing on the line, doing an executive order, and just basically waiving part of the government debt on mortgages, just like they're probably going to do on student loan debt forgiveness. What we'll also brings the question is, will we see anything else like this for people who don't have student loan forgiveness or don't have student loan debts? Will they do other type of debts, such as mortgage debt forgiveness, credit card debt forgiveness, or medical debt forgiveness? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. For anybody that had unemployment money last year, well, um, we need to clarify a couple points here. Number one is you now get $10,200 of an unemployment tax break. So basically, up to $10,000, 10200 of income last year from unemployment income will not be taxable. That was an extra provision that they threw in there for the third stimulus check. And I think they might do this for 2021 in the fourth round of stimulus or one of the upcoming rounds of stimulus. So they might provide this $10,000 tax break for unemployment money in 2020, 2021 as well. But the IRS has made a very confusing statement over the last uh, 48 hours here that I want to make clear for you guys. So number one, they said an amended return was not needed to get the $10,200 unemployment tax break. Now they're saying an amended return may be needed to get the full refund of a $10,200 tax break. Let me clarify. So there's a couple scenarios where, where you may need to file an amended tax return. So number one, if you're looking just for the extra stimulus money or the extra tax refund money from the $10,200, the IRS says they're going to process these automatically and you don't need to file an amended tax return. That's what they say. But again, this could change in the future. The IRS is very far behind and I'll keep you up to date on if that happens, and when to expect the money. They say they're going to start doing that as early as May, but I'll keep you up to date on that. But the other thing is, is that because your income gets reduced by $10,200, if you have at least $10,000 of unemployment income, the average person from last year had like $16,000. So it is the vast majority of people that have at least $10,000 of unemployment income and or unemployment bonus money. They're combined. So it's the total of those. But that uh, reduces your income. So there's several different things that could come into play here. Number one, if you got a reduced stimulus check for uh, in the past, and um, so this, this is for stimulus checks one and two, because your income was high enough, it was between seventy five and a hundred thousand in the past, and you got a reduced stimulus check last year. But now reducing your income by that ten thousand dollars because that basically takes your income down. So let's say you had. $80,000 of income last year for 2019. And now you get that $10,000 tax break. So it takes you from $80,000 down to $70,000. So you would actually get more of a stimulus check now because you'd be below the $75,000 threshold where your stimulus check starts to get reduced. That the IRS will not automatically amend your tax return for and give you that additional money. 
The other thing is that if, if your income gets reduced because of the $10,000, any other tax credits that you might be able to claim do not get uh, amended automatically. So the, basically the IRS is saying they're going to give you the $10,000 tax break and they're going to give you the money for that. So the average person is going to get around 1000 but you could get more if you're in the 25% tax break tax bracket, you could get 2500 as a refund. But when your income gets reduced, you could qualify for other things, such as a larger stimulus check, but you'd have to file an amended tax return to get that. The other thing you could qualify for is the adult earned income tax credit, which only goes up to certain um, income thresholds on the lower to middle income uh, range. But reducing your taxable income by $10,200 could make you qualify for that. And the adult earned income tax credit, which is similar to the child income tax credit that's been getting a lot of uh, a lot of favoritism, a lot of popularity, a lot of news coverage right now because it's uh, been increased. But the adult earned income tax credit has also been increased. You can actually qualify for up to $6,600 from the adult earned income tax credit. And uh, you can file for this uh, in your tax return. So I did a recent video on that, and I'll link you to that at the end of this video. You really should watch that because if it means a $6,000 tax uh, refund for you, or even a 1000 or two, uh, you can thank me later because that's money directly in your pocket. It's pretty awesome. It's like the child income tax credits that the IRS wants to pay out for monthly stimulus checks. They have an adult income tax credit too. A lot of people don't know about it, and they don't know the details of it. I have a, a video I did a few days ago where I go over all the details of that. So you should watch that if you haven't yet. I'll link you to that at the end of this video. But what's important is, is that you might qualify for this with the reduced income, the $10,200. But again, that would be another scenario where you would have to file an amended tax return. So if reducing your income qualifies you for other things, you will have to file an amended tax return to do those type of things. So um, if you're into like, Find details like that with your exact situation. You might want to talk to a, a CPA or an accountant or TurboTax or something like that to get uh, more details on your exact situation. Ultimately, there could be or there will be multiple different things, multiple different provisions of stimulus likely added into the infrastructure package. Uh, and the farther away it gets from the third stimulus checks that have just literally gone out here uh, you know, on Wednesday, a lot of people got them. The farther away we get from that, the more and more likely a fourth stimulus check grows uh, more likely. You know, because from watching this channel, that around 100 different senators and Democrats are already pushing for stimulus checks in this next package. Uh, as you can see here on the screen, we're getting more Democrats by the day that are pushing for stimulus checks. And not just stimulus checks, but monthly stimulus payments, as you can see here. And there's really big uh, names behind this, such as 21 Senate Democrats have been urging President Biden to put recurring stimulus checks and unemployment aid extension in the next stimulus package, the infrastructure package. And um, I think that the more time that we get away from the third stimulus check, the more likely it grows that they will pass at, at least a single stimulus check in the next package, if not the recurring stimulus checks that they're pushing for in this next package, as high as $2,000 per month. We have a lot of people on board with this $2,000 per month, including Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and um, Senator Elizabeth Warren and Senator Bernie Sanders. So uh, Nancy Pelosi has not said anything about this, but I don't see why she would be against this as She's definitely pro-stimulus. But uh, I also think we'll end up seeing, before all is said and done, several different things in this package, such as the free community college that uh, Democrats and, and the White House actually said uh, would likely be in this next package. So they haven't unveiled this yet because, again, they just focus on the physical infrastructure of the package, and the Republicans don't even like that. So it's very likely that they won't be able to appease the Republicans at all, so they won't get any Republican votes, and they'll end up passing this through the reconciliation process, which will likely end up being just having to negotiate amongst the Democrats themselves, which um, will have Joe Manchin in there, and typically Joe Manchin 
will, you know, he wants to be the star of the stage and, and, you know, say, oh, no, no, I object to this and this, and I want to tweak the details. Like right now, he's saying that uh, he doesn't uh, agree with a 28% corporate tax rate. He agrees with a 25% corporate tax rate. Like, what's the difference to him, right? Like, an extra 3% between friends is whatever. He's just, like, picking a random number out of the air that he's okay with but not okay with. So I think, ultimately, um, just like in the third stimulus check package, they will end up getting all the Democrats together to vote. They'll likely have to change several things, and everything is up for negotiation to have things added in or negotiated on, really probably just amongst themselves, amongst the Democrats, before all is said and done. And I think before all is said and done, we will see multiple different things or provisions in this uh, next package. Bernie Sanders also talking about expanding Medicare and his specific words were that uh, now we need to focus on the seniors in the next package with Medicare and also possibly more Social Security raises. Maybe we'll finally end up seeing that $200 per month Social Security raise. But if we see these monthly stimulus checks, that is the greater of all the packages. So if you had to choose between the $200 per month Social Security increase or the $2,000 monthly recurring stimulus checks, you definitely want to take the $2,000 monthly checks. Even if it's $1,000 monthly checks, it's much higher than the $200 per month Social Security increase. Now, yes, we'd like to have both, but it's it's doubtful that they'll have two different recurring stimulus checks or uh, update and a stimulus check. So it's just most likely that if we do see the recurring stimulus checks, everybody should just be happy because that's the greater of the amounts and it will help out more people. We don't know the details on if they want to do this for children or not yet or adult dependents, but I do expect um, when they do a fourth stimulus check, that it will very likely be the same qualifications as the third stimulus check. Because remember, the Democrats passed that all on their own, and they negotiated amongst themselves for that. So it's very likely that that will just stay the same for the fourth stimulus check. So, for example, if they just passed a uh, single fourth stimulus check, the most likely number right now, based on what is being passed around, is $2,000. So if they pass the $2,000 stimulus check, um, honestly, it's... It probably would be for children, too, although I could see them doing maybe half of that amount for children, so maybe $2,000 for adults and $1,000 for children. And I do expect them to include adult dependents and college student dependents again this time around because the Democrats are the one that threw that in, the third stimulus check package, so I don't see any logical reason why they would remove that for the fourth stimulus check. On garnishments, uh, we don't know yet, but again, I would expect the same type of thing to happen, which happened in the third stimulus check, which means that uh, the IRS and child support and any government entity couldn't garnish your, your stimulus check. That's how the Democrats set it up for the third one. It'll likely be that way for the fourth one. However, remember, because they passed that through the reconciliation process, they were not able to make private debt collectors uh, to keep your check out of reach for them. Now, they're more prepared for that this time around. If you remember, they tried to pass a bill to um, prevent private debt collectors from doing this after the fact. It was a standalone bill, so they would have needed Republican support. And Republican Senator Pat Toomey uh, blocked that bill because they tried to do it as a last-minute bill because they weren't expecting this. And um, the Democrats tried to pass it, and well, Republican Senator Pat Toomey stood up and objected to it. It was an up or down vote in the Senate, and well, it did not pass because of that. So it'll be interesting to see if the Democrats try to pass a bill like this again for the fourth stimulus check package. They're more prepared this time around for this um, actual circumstance to happen possibly again. So um, when they pass the fourth stimulus check package, I expect the Democrats to be a little more prepared this time and possibly have an actual bill drafted because, again, they can't do that through reconciliation process. The rules of reconciliation do not allow them to 
prevent um, private debt collectors from garnishment. They have to do that through a standalone bill, which will require 60 votes. Now, if they do that through an actual bill and they have it drafted and written out ahead of time, they can go to the Senate and try to get 10 Republicans to vote for that. With an actual bill, they could get possibly 10 Republicans to do that to get the 60 votes. Last time, they just did it as a last-minute push with an up or down vote on the Senate, not an actual bill, because they really were just trying to get it done quickly, and it was objected, and then the bill kind of died from there. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in the future. I'll keep you up to date on all the upcoming stimulus uh, provisions in the near future. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Make sure to share this video with your family and friends so that they know about what is coming out in the potential future round of the next stimulus check and the next stimulus package. There's a share button down below that you can share this link with your friends and family through message or Facebook or Twitter or anything like that. Also, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on new updates and click the bell icon to all notifications to get reminders when we go live with new videos, which is every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can click this video to watch my newest stimulus check video next. And this video is about the adult earned income tax credit, how to claim that, how it works, and how you could get up to $6,600 back as a tax refund. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.